When you select a menu item from the Stack Graphics main menu, the first thing you'll see is a data input dialog box. There will typically be fields like the data field here requesting the name of a column containing the data to be analyzed. And typically, I'll just go ahead, look at the list of columns in my file, select one such as horsepower, press the black arrow, and it will put the name of that variable in the field. Now there are actually other things that can be placed in the data fields, other than just a simple variable name. For example, let's suppose I wanted to look not just at the horsepower of my automobiles, but at perhaps the log. I can take my cursor and place it in front of the word horsepower and actually type the word log, L-O-G, which is a stack graphics operator, then open parentheses and close parentheses around the word horsepower. Now, I type log in capital letters. I don't have to do that. It's not case sensitive. It's just my habit. Now, what would happen if I pressed OK now is that the procedure would analyze not horsepower, but the logs of horsepower. And it would do so without changing the data back in the data sheets. This can be real handy if you want to try different transformations uh, in an exploratory type mode. Now, there's another way to do it as well. If I get rid of that uh, entry I've just typed, I can go down to the bottom of the dialog box and press the button labeled Transform. This will bring up a, another dialog box that says Generate Data at the top of it. It lists the variables that I currently have access to back in that data sheet on the left. It also gives a long list of all the stack graphics operators on the right. In the middle, there are some buttons with different mathematical symbols and numbers and so forth. And the idea here is that I can build a transformation, if I wish, without ever having to touch the keyboard. In fact, what I think I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to scroll down, double click on the word horsepower, then move over to the center and click on the divide symbol, and then go down and double click on the word weight. I've now created an expression, a stack graphics expression, that says go get the horsepower of an automobile and divide by its weight in pounds. When I press OK, that expression I've just created will be placed in the data field on the data input dialog box and then I can just press OK to analyze that transformation. 